next one, uh, Drive Away Dolls. And this is done by Ethan Cohen, half of the uh, Cohen Brothers. Um, Cohen Brothers director's team and this film um it's um it's about um a search of a fresh start two women embark on an impromptu road trip to tallahassee florida however things quickly go awry when they cross paths with a group of inept criminals along the way and this film stars uh margaret quayley and geraldine this is they play jamie and marion who are our two characters um and it's got a lot of people in this cast, man. We get uh, Matt Damon, Pedro Pascal, Beanie Feldstein, Coleman Domingo, um, Molly Cyrus, um, it's Joey Slotnick. Molly Cyrus? <laughs> yes. Joey Slotnick. Um, and let me see. I think those are the mains. Um, um, Andy Gonzalez is also in this, man. So, so this cast is stacked, man. I had really high hopes, man. You know, and I thought the trailer was kind of funny. So, essentially, uh, they're two friends. They're kind of getting reacquainted. Uh, you know, they're, they're both lesbians. So, so this movie is very, um, lesbian centered. You know, they, they're two young, uh, uh, gay women. And in order to, to kind of rekindle their friendship, cause, she, um, Marion, she's been in the professional world for a little bit, uh, and Jamie's just kind of living her carefree uh, lifestyle, so they decide to take a road trip together, and it's interesting, it's called Drive Away Dolls, because in this film, I don't know if this is a real thing, basically they go get a drive away rental, which is a rental from a car rental place that's a little bit cheaper, because you're basically taking it one way, so um, their trip is to Tallahassee, so they say they want to go to Tallahassee, so the car rental place, they find, you know, someone uh, in Tallahassee who requested a car, so their job is to take that car down to Tallahassee, they leave it, and I don't know how they're going to get back, maybe they're going to catch the bus back or whatever, but that's the premise, so um, there's a mix-up that happens in this, because they get a car and because it's Tallahassee, it's like, how many people are going to Tallahassee? Whatever, you know. So our um, our car rental guy gives the car to them instead of uh, these gangsters. Um, shout out to Bill Camp, who plays Curly, our car rental guy. He was actually really funny. <laughs> and so, and they realized the mix-up. So the gangsters are trying to catch up to them and drive them down. And then, um, you know, essentially, they, they have a briefcase on them. And there's some... Um, something in the briefcase that's very important to these gangsters and you know and it goes from there um it's definitely you know road trip movie comedy kind of thing set up but dude i was struggling man i didn't i didn't really? I know what it was I, like I, I had such high hopes but this thing is it's it's, it's it's really flat dude and this cast all these people all this talent you're working with i think um like i said um our guy um uh, Bill Camp, I thought he was good, but his scenes went that 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 long, man. Joey Slotnick was great. His scenes were funny, but but it's like you know you got all this talent, but they're sprinkled, you know, among various legs of this trip. It, it starts off great too, man. I love uh, uh what Pedro uh, Pascal brings to this, but then all of a sudden, man, I'm just sitting here like, what are we doing? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. And, and, and then some of the some of the um, lesbian stuff too feels just a little weird. It's like it's like I know these characters are gay, but but th there's certain aspects of this thing that you're emphasizing for gags and jokes that I don't know. I don't know if I was fully comfortable with, man. Maybe I would have been better off if maybe 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 it's maybe that separation comes from the fact that that um, this thing is written by Ethan. Uh, Cohen, and I think his wife has credit on it as writers, and as far as I know, they're not lesbians. So, so maybe there's something that just got lost in them writing this or trying to inject what they thought would be funny in it, but there's a lot of stuff in here that just was like, I know I'm supposed to laugh, but this is not that funny. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Okay. And, and, and I felt like there was a lot of moments like that, especially with a lot of the bigger name talents, like, like Beanie seeing them like, Why'd you have her in here if this is all you're going to have her do? I felt like this a bit with Coleman Domingo as well and a bunch of the other like characters in this, man. It just, I don't know. It's just a really, it, 
it, it has some of the quirks of what I expect from Cohen's stuff, but but something the humor just wasn't there, man. Like like I I know exactly what this thing was going for, you know, the dark comedic road trip, and it just didn't work for me, you know. Overall, I didn't have a good time, corny. <laughs> oh.